It was a time in history that connected a city, a time Leonard Randolph Wilkins says made this community so endearing. There were like 200,000 people downtown. And, and, I, and I always say this, 200,000 people, and they weren't trying to tear or break anything down. They were just celebrating uh, with the Sonics. So it's a magical moment. And that one moment in time has this immense bond, does it not? Yes, it does. It, it was amazing. Wilkins was the coach of that 1979 Seattle Supersonic Championship team, a basketball Hall of Famer, three times over, who never left. I met so many people that were just wonderful people. And, uh, and here, I got to know some of them, got to be friends with some of them, and what a great area. He's now known around these parts simply as Coach or Lenny and the guy who never stopped giving. I met Nelson Mandela when I was in uh, South Africa and, uh, and I, I went to Robbins Island and I saw the cell he was in for all those years. And I asked him, how could you do it and not be bitter? And he said, well, because I wanted to give back to my people. It is an anecdote which helps to explain why Lenny single-handedly propped up the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic in Seattle Central District for years, raising millions to pay for health care of families who could not afford it. A sick kid in school puts their head down on a desk. They don't learn anything. But here's someone trying to help them be healthy so that when they're in the classroom, they can learn. Young people, they're tomorrow is doctors, lawyers, politicians, athletes. They're a future. And if we don't take care of them, what's going to happen? It's been fun, Chris, R really. It's, it's for me, it's, it, yeah, it's a lot of work. You know, it's uh, when something's that worthwhile, uh, you know, uh, that, that's the thanks. We don't, we don't need anybody to thank us for it. His position in this community will be solidified again on Thursday with the renaming of the street outside the spot where he coached so many years ago on what will be his 84th birthday. To uh, na name a, a street, you know, uh, after me, I, I, was, I was a little surprised at first. Life has a way of making things happen, and, and so it's an honor. Wilkins says he wants people to walk by it and understand they can live life like the name of the street itself, the Lenny Wilkins way. If you can do it, I can do it. I, I really do. I want young people to believe they can make a difference. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.